Hello, my name is Dan Michelson. I'm a fisheries biologist with the Virginia Department of Wildlife Resources. Today we'll be talking about our striped bass fisheries in Virginia and specifically about the fishery at Bugs Island Lake. Bugs Island Lake striped bass do naturally reproduce, but we have to supplementally stock them. And we're gonna be talking with Mike Gafford about how he does that at the Big Thomas Hatchery in Brook Neal. Here at the hatchery, we focus on striped bass and walleye, but today we're gonna to talk about striped bass production. The production here at Vic Thomas Hatchery goes to Bugs Island, Leesville, and Smith Mountain Lake. Striped bass have a pelagic egg, which means it floats um, freely in the water column. This stretch of the Stanton River, which flows into Carr Reservoir, is one of the few areas in the United States in which we will find natural reproducing striped bass. But it's important for us to uh, supplement the natural population in, in Bugs Island Carr Reservoir with fingerlings that we produce here at the hatchery. That way we ensure that the anglers have uh, access to catchable fish and that population is sustainable. The striped bass broodstock are collected from the Stanton River uh, with the assistance of the aquatic teams. Those fish are collected using a technique called electrofishing, which does not cause harm to the fish. The fish are brought up into the hatchery. They are paired up, uh, males and females, into spawning tanks. We normally use one female in the spawning tank and three to five males in the spawning tank. The fish will spawn in that spawning tank within normally 24 to 48 hours. Once the fish has spawned in the tank, we will remove both the males and the females and return them back to the river. The eggs are then removed from the spawning tank uh, and placed into an incubation chambers, which we call McDonald jars. The eggs are suspended in the jars for about 44 hours. Uh, the larvae hatch out from that, flow into an aquaria or a trough where we will hold those for somewhere between three to five days and then they are stocked into a production pond. Our total team during the spawning season will be six or seven people. We work very long hours, a month and a half, two months, uh, seven days a week, almost 24 hours a day. So it requires a fairly large and substantial team to do all the work and you know provide the husbandry and care for these animals. Stay tuned for the final video in this series where we'll be talking with the hatchery staff about how they harvest the fingerlings from their ponds and then stock them into area lakes like Bugs Island. If you'd like more information on the striped bass fisheries in Virginia please visit our website.